All right, guys, it's TG So Good from the NBA Live Series Center Forums. Um, if you have no idea what that is, go ahead and Google it. But today, I'm going to show you how to put your face in the PC version of NBA 2K12. Your face, a friend's face, anyone's face. Um, the first thing you're going to need is NBA 2K12 decompressor. If you don't have that, you're going to need to Google it. Um, okay, so open that up um, the first thing we're gonna do is browse for the player head shape whose head is most similar to the person you're trying to put in the game so if you're trying to put yourself in the game and your head shape is similar to LeBron then you need to look for LeBron's head shape if your head shape is similar to Derek Fisher you need to put uh, you need to pull up Derek Fisher's head shape um, but first off you're gonna need to have that list of whose head has what ID number. There's a number. It's not going to say a name. There's a number. So right here, I have the number that coincides with each player's face. So today, I'm just going to use a random player. Um, Vince Carter. Got Vince Carter right here. Vince Carter's cyber face ID number is 110. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for his file and um so when you go into the NBA, uh, NBA 2K12 decompressor and you press the little folder icon, it's going to bring you to the 2K12 folder and there are going to be a lot of files. What you want to do is you want to find the files that say PNG. So what I'm going to do down here is I know Vince Carter's face number is 110. So all the um, cyber face files start with PNG and they're all four digits so his is 110 so his is going to be PNG 0 1 10 dot IFF I know that because I'm familiar with the file structure um, so it always has to be four numbers so if you have a player like uh, in Anthony Carter's case his is six you would type in zero 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 six but we're using Vince Carter so we're gonna use PNG zero one one zero dot IFF click open you're gonna wanna press this big button here that says UNZ LIB click it now it says ready you wanna click OK you no longer need this program and we're gonna minimize our list and then the next thing you want to bring up is NBA 2k12 cyber faces texture importer exporter if you don't have that program then again you will need to go to NBA live series center and download it. Um, again you want to go to the top and click on the folder icon that says browse for if and you want to find your NBA 2K12 de decompressor folder I know when I installed it it usually installs it directly to drive C so I go to drive C and there it is NBA 2K12 decompressor folder and there it is, PNG0110, which is going to be Vince Carter's face. All right, so now I double clicked on that, and I'm just going to press Extract here. It says Ready. You're going to select OK. So now what it has done is if you go up to your icon for the NBA 2K12 Cyberface Texture Importer Exporter Program, and you right click it and go to open file location you should see a folder a folder that says PNG 0110 what you want to do is click on that folder and as you can see it has actually broken down the file for us um, it, has, it has extracted all the textures that we need and I'm not gonna go through each texture I'll let you guys download the program and figure that stuff out but the texture that we actually need is texture 5 and I'm gonna open it with Photoshop 
using the default sizes I'm just gonna press OK here and there you have Vince Carter's face so I want his face to be my face or in this case I'm gonna make his face um, a friend's face or actually in this case I'm gonna make it my brother's face now all you have to do is find a picture of you or whoever you want in the game and put their face over his face I'm not gonna go into detail about that I have already made a picture of my brother's face and so all I'm gonna do is you know I've already taken the time it takes a little time to put it in the little 3d format or whatever but I'll let you guys figure out how to do that I'm just gonna go ahead and select his face and uh, actually I'm gonna copy his face over Vince Carter's I'm just gonna put it right over Vince Carter's face like that I don't care that the colors don't match up you guys can match the colors up you guys can figure out how to do the hair all on your own all I'm doing is showing you how to put the face in the game so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the file and I wanna save I wanna save it um, and you have to save it as a DDS file and again we're gonna use texture 5 we're gonna save it it's gonna ask you do you want to replace it you want to click OK and then at the top here you're gonna have a few different options um, for texture 5 you want to use DXT5 and then you also want to make sure you have selected generate MIP maps and the number you're going to want to use is 8 and then you just go ahead and save that and then also you're going to want to save it as you can save it again DDS texture 3 and do the exact same thing DXT5 generate mipmaps 8 save All right, and so texture three is the uh, I think that's the low res, low resolution. So if you play with your players on low resolution, I'm not even sure, but I always save texture three and five as the same face. All right, so now we're going to minimize Photoshop, and um, this is the folder that we're in again. And what you're going to want to do is go back to the previous folder where it says PNG0110 and uh, if you do not want to overwrite the current Vince Carter face or the current player face that you're using what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy that folder paste it and rename it um, I usually re you know rename it anything it has a, it doesn't I don't know if it has to be four digits but I usually stick with the four digits and I usually start mine off with a number four so PNG 40 30 is what I'm gonna use on this one and that's all you need PNG 40 30 and here it is here double click on that folder as you can see it has PNG 0110 at the top you're gonna to also want to change that to PNG 4030 or whatever number you use 4030 now if you do want to overwrite the current player head you don't even need to do these steps here but I want Vince Carter in my game so PNG 4030 now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the actual head shape file so copy the PNG 4030 file not the folder but the file PNG 4030 right click copy and now we're gonna minimize this the next step I want to do is I want to go over to my NBA 2k12 icon I want to right click it open file location soon as it opens I want to right click in the white space and go to paste continue whatever it prompts you to do just say continue 
and as you can see my PNG 4035 has now been pasted into my NBA 2K12 folder I'm gonna X out of that 2K12 folder and so now what you want to do is go back to your cyber faces texture importer exporter program where it says browse for if or IFF click the folder icon again this time you want to go in and find your NBA 2k12 folder so I know mine is on this C under program files 2k sports NBA 2k12 so now that I'm in my 2k12 folder again I want to find that 4030 4030 the the head shape that I just pasted into this I'm gonna type it in down at the file name 4030 I'm sorry guys that's my phone and so once I do that I'm sorry guys uh, 4030 I go ahead and click open I'll go ahead and click import and then it says ready again you click OK and now you have it where you want it. Um, give me a second. I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So now that your um, file with your face and the original player's head shape are meshed together in one inside your 2K12 folder, what you're going to do to actually show your player in the game is our next step so you can close out of this program go ahead and close out of it and what you're going to want to do is open up your 2k12 um, actual game and I'm going to pause so the game can load up and you're going to want to go to your created player screen so I'm going to pause it and go to that and I'll be right back alright guys I'm back and I have the game pulled up so what you want to do is go to create new player create a player create new player as you can see they've randomly assigned me a name Donald Houston so what I'm gonna do now that I'm on this player is I'm gonna press alt tab to go back to my desktop um, let me get this out of the way now I'm back in my desktop and now what I'm gonna go to is my NBA 2K12 Chinese Trainer. Um, now, if you don't know what that is, again, NBA Live Series Center. Google it, download it, whatever. NBA 2K12 Chinese Trainer. So um, they give you two, two different ones. I don't know what the second one's for, but I always use the first one. It's the only one that works with the game. Um, once you double click that, loads up. What you were going to want to do is come to the third row down in the middle column, and this is where you put in your player face. So this right here is for the portrait ID. So um, right right now we're going to leave it at zero, and we're going to change the cyber face ID, which goes right here, to forty thirty because that's what we've been working on all along forty. 30 and I'm going to do this last little option we just select the first option I don't know what that says and this right here is the OK button so I select OK I go back into my game now when I go back into my game the face is not going to be there it's still a created player face what you have to do is press your start button and it says are you finished creating whoever you know your new player you go ahead and select yes and it saves it for you do you want to assign them to a team not yet go ahead and say no and I'm gonna scroll all the way down Donald Houston is the player they just gave me so I go back to him as you can see it didn't work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to alt tab because he still has that created player face and I'm gonna press that OK button again and I you know I pressed it twice for good luck but go ahead 
go back to the game select uh, start again then yes you are finished this time when you scroll down his face has changed so when I go to edit player you're gonna see you're gonna see Vince Carter's arms you're gonna see the face that you made in Photoshop as you guys know I didn't edit the hair, I didn't edit the neck, I didn't edit the arm textures. Um, all I did was throw my brother's black face on top of Vince Carter, on top of Vince Carter's lighter complexion, and so this is what it looks like. So now, as you know, it, once you get to using Photoshop, you can make the player really look like you. Um, you gotta experiment with some things. And if you know anything about the Alpha channel, the Alpha, alpha channel is going to control um, the sweat on his face. Uh, the white parts are going to be sweaty, glossy on the Alpha channel, and the dark parts are going to show um, a regular just a regular color with no sweat and no glossiness to it but Vince Carter's bald headed so his should be just about all white but anyway that's if you know about the alpha channel and if you don't well then your player may not look as much like you as you want it to but anyway this is the player that I have just created I put this face in the game and there you have it that is how you put your face in the game now you know we save the face texture as texture 5 and his arms are still Vince Carter's color if you want to change the color of the arms all you have to do is change textures 2 and 4 if you open those up in Photoshop those will be the arm textures and you can make those darker if you want but anyway let's one thing people really get agitated about is the uh, lead colors. If you go to create a player, then you can change the lead colors. If you just replace a current player's face, you can't change the lead color. So on this, since we're on create a player, we can make them have, you know, the white guy legs or the real black guy legs. And one thing people find very weird is that when you go to the darkest skin tone, he actually lights up more the player actually lights up more so when we go back to the white legs he's darker up top black legs he's lighter up top well that right there is because if you have a very dark player with a dark face and dark arms you're gonna want him to be lit up a little more so you can see the details on the texture so if you create a very dark player I want to set his skin tone to dark so he lights up and if you create, you know, a white guy or, you know, lighter player, uh, you're going to want to have a skin tone be lighter. And that right there, my friends, is how you put your face in the game. You go ahead and save it. And you can put them on any team you want. So thank you guys for watching. I know it's not very detailed, but uh, just play around with it. And I will see you guys on the forums.